gets the point. But again, he's throwing the ball pretty well today. That's his normal throwing motion. But if Johnny Sanders just read it perfectly, jumped up right on Flowers' route, leads for a touchdown. And now the extra point try by the sophomore Miller. Out of James Caputo's hold. It's good. And 14-0 as the Irish strike twice in less than a minute. Keeley victimized by a Johnny Sanders. And uh, Sands will recall it was a big interception by Sanders that sent the Irish out to a 14-0 lead at Arizona State a year ago. Yeah, you know, just, just absolutely read the route perfectly. Keeley couldn't quite get enough on it. Even if he did, he was still well covered. And so Notre Dame jumps in front 14-0. Well, it was deja vu, wasn't it? 2 10 48 left in the half. The Pac-10 Stanford Cardinals visited Notre Dame with Bill Walsh as their head coach. But this game would belong to the Fighting Irish. Quarterback Ron Paulus and Notre Dame led Stanford 10-3 at the half. But then went on to score 17 unanswered points in the third quarter. The Irish crew to an easy 34-15 win over Stanford. Champion. It takes a little more to make a champion. Cover yourself in tradition. Order this champion embroidered Notre Dame football sports shirt for $39.99. While the tradition is forever, the offer isn't. Call 1-800-647-4641. Interception for a touchdown. Last year it made it 14-0. 14-0 again today. Irish score twice in 18 seconds. Keeley eager to get a chance to uh, return the favor. And Sanson kicks it off. High and short. Gerald Green at the 19. Has a little alley and across the 35 to the 37-yard line. A reminder, the Breeders' Cup Day just a month away, and tune in tomorrow at 2.30 Eastern for the second richest day in the American Thoroughbred Racing schedule, the Breeders' Cup Preview. Belmont Park featuring the prestigious Jockey Club Gold Cup, Lemon Drop Kid, and Barons among the entries. Should be a great race. Breeders' Cup Preview tomorrow, 2.30 Eastern on NBC, soon to be the network of the Triple Crown. Dick, if I'm Ryan Keeley, I, I, I want to feed J.R. Redman. And so it is. Redman slowed down in the backfield, and it's a Johnny Sanders coming up from safety to hit him high, and uh, down the rim of the world high school up in uh, near Lake Arrowhead. There's Heap. Boy, has he got a great surname. He's a Heap of trouble, but he fumbles this one, and it's recovered for a touchback by Notre Dame. Oh, my. Three turnovers in the first half for the Irish. Two interceptions, and that one there by Heath. And actually, that's four, because the early Redmond that's fumbled right. as well. That's exactly right. Four turnovers in the first half. And that's a tough break for Arizona State, as Heath trying for extra yardage was down near the 10-yard line. Let's see if it makes the play. And finally knocked Grand away Irons. by Grant Irons, the big defensive end, and then it's Cooper to fall on it in the Sundle in as soon as we get official word. First down at the 20. On the option, Jackson, good toss to Fisher, and Fisher down the sideline. One man to beat. Finally knocked down at the 47-yard line. Adam Archuleta saved the touchdown. Hey, Notre Dame has made real progress the last two weeks. You know, a week ago, they were a balanced team, had a counter punch to Jarius Jackson. Today, they finally gotten the option pitch going. Three times, Jarius Jackson has pitched the ball, this time for big yardage to Tony Fisher. They've not been able to do that all, uh, all year yet. Good block here by Gandy. Good pitch by Jackson right out in front of Tony Fisher. And a hard run by Fisher. Right foot uh, hit the sidelines at the 45, so it's a 25-yard game. And now the freshman Julius Jones uh, struggling for three, maybe four. Archuleta. Well, when you have Adam as a first name, uh, you'd like to be first, and he is a first in tackles on this Arizona State team. First in tackles for loss and tied for the lead in sacks. He's only 213 pounds, but he runs a 4-4. Probably his future playing on Sunday will be at a strong safety position. A walk-on has become a star tackler. 
Adam Marchuleta. And, and what a hustling play. Even though Bobby Brown scored that one touchdown, Archuleta ran 40 yards downfield, almost made a play on him. Second down and six. Jackson cuts back inside and now has one man to beat. Jerry Jackson is stripped up as Courtney Jackson, not related, able to hit him on the heels and save the touchdown. But it'll be first and goal, Notre Dame, outside the six-yard line. A 44-yard rumble by Jerry Jackson. You know, when you put Jerry Jackson, and that was part of the Sun Devils' plan, you must take the right angle. And if the guy's just taking the wrong angle, I think they misjudge his speed because he's so strong and big. He's 230 pounds. And it was a defensive back, Jackson, who really had a, an angle on him, but it took him a long way and a long time to get to Jackson. Bobby Brown couldn't quite get there to help him out with a block. So it'll be first and goal, Notre Dame, at about the six and a half. And timeout is called by Arizona State. So each and Fisher behind Jarius Jackson. The throwback and open. Touchdown, tight end Dan O'Leary. Oh, is that a good little play? Good little play in the goal line. All the flow going to the right. And Dan O'Leary going away from the traffic and catches the, uh, the touchdown. A lot of teams run this play down by the goal line. Good call, six-yard touchdown from Jackson to Dan O'Leary. He's down here. He's just going to delay. All the flow is going this way, though, and you're going to see number 86, Dan O'Leary, come open. He's delaying, delaying, and there he is, wide open. That's a good call and well executed. Craig Coons trying to hustle over to make the tackle, and O'Leary using uh, the defender's momentum to step into the end zone as the new place kicker, David Miller, able to knock through three straight extra points, 80 yards and five plays after Heath's fumble, and the Irish now have exploded in this second quarter, 21-0. They have four turnovers. What do they have here on first and 26? Healy, good protection. Throwing long for Williams. Intercepted by Cooper. Pete Cooper at the 50. Has some blockers now. 40. Picking up more at the 30. And finally drive down at the 25-yard line. It's a second quarter celebration in South Bend. Well, for the second year in a row, Ryan Keeley has thrown three interceptions. This is his third against the Irish. Five turnovers in all. He had just a miscommunication between himself and Richard Williams, an overthrow on a deep ball, well read by D. Cooper. And, you know, he's reading them the whole way. And, and D. Cooper just playing center field. In the baseball playoffs, uh, be a good center fielder. Joey Goodspeed, Tony Fisher in the backfield. Jarius Jackson trying to strike right off the turnover. He hits Getherall. Touchdown, Joey Getherall. and offensively. David Miller trying to make it four in a row as the PAT specialist, and he just does uh, get it up, and it's blocked by Junior Iwane. Iwane with a block, and it'll be 27 to nothing Notre Dame. Now the Irish with a big second quarter, 27 unanswered, and Jarius Jackson with his third touchdown pass to Brown, to O'Leary, and now to... Together all. Cover yourself in tradition. Order this champion sweatshirt with Notre Dame Gold Dome for $39.99. 
While the tradition is forever, the offer isn't. Call 1-800-647-4641. They send the most of the time. No second down and ten. And on the option, Jackson's going to keep the time. And 40, one man to beat at the 20, inside of the 10. Touchdown, Jarius Jackson, 48 yards. today and now to spice things up uh, on his stat sheet a 48 yard run for touchdown yeah, everything is working great block by joey good we look at gandy number 69 the right the uh, right guard down there escorting him in the end zone 45 yards down the field david miller with his try for extra point the last one was blocked by arizona state gets it up and it is good good hold there by caputo on a low snap A big second quarter, and they score early here in the third. Championship, next Saturday at noon Eastern on... <laughs>